Can you not see? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and get started, Steve. Yes. Up there. Um, just uh, very, very proud of uh, 22 exceptional seniors. Uh, you know, a staff that came together a year ago, hadn't worked as a unit, came, came together with uh, a team that came together in the last 12 months. And uh, very, very proud to, of what they've accomplished in, in the entire season, but especially today against a, a good Air Force team. And, just happy to uh, win a Mountain West Conference championship, especially for these seniors. So with that, we'll open it up. Anybody got questions? Coach, how do you feel? Wet and cold. Uh, <laughs> I got a couple of Gatorade dumps and smell like grape uh, Gatorade right now. So I'm hoping this won't go too long. But uh, uh, exhilaration is probably the word. Just really happy for our guys and our staff. Uh, you know, all the hard work that they put in to see it come to fruition and, and you know get a championship is uh, it's a nice feeling. Coach, any preference on your bowl situation? I, I have no preference at all. It's going to be a great one no matter where we go. So uh, whatever it works out, it works out. Tim, were you able to kind of sense how badly the program and you know, a lot of the people in the community wanted a conference championship? Did you be able to provide that you know, in your first year? What is that you? Yeah, I, th I think uh, you know Thomas made that clear when he was going through the interview process that we, we, we needed a you know, a football program that, that competes for championships. And uh, from day one, that's, that's been our focus. And as I've been out in the community, people have been, been starving for it. It's been too long here. Uh, I felt we had a, a group that if, if we can get them to buy in, uh, had enough talent uh, to compete for a conference championship. And uh, just really, really, you know, excited about our staff and, and the way our guys took to our staff. No. I'm always asking the players about their progressions and how they are improving throughout the year. But now that you've kind of had this regular season, you know, as, as a guy that went from taking over one part of the unit to now overseeing it like a CEO, what's that been like for you kind of delegating and, and making sure everything is all right? Uh, it, it's been different. Um, it's, uh, at first, it was, it was a little like weaning somebody off, you know, because football, for 20-something years, that's all I've done is, is defensive football. Um, but, but I, I've got tremendous faith in our coaches. Uh, I wouldn't have hired them if I didn't. And in that way, I can you know, f you know, fit my role as, as being the, the, the CEO of this thing. Because uh, we've got tremendous coaches that, that just coach with passion. They're smart. They're great people, great families. Uh, I just got to make sure everybody shows up for work on time. That's all I got to do. You guys stayed undefeated at home this year. You know, how important was that? And not only did you guys stay undefeated, but you won by well, I think our guys love playing in front of the Red Wave. Uh, there's something special about Bulldog Stadium, and you know, it was something that, that we wanted to recapture was was putting a product out there that the Red Wave would like to see, uh, and, and we, we get energy off the Red Wave. Um, and so to see to see uh, our guys play in the stadium, there, I think there's just a, a different buzz, you know, that, that happens for our guys, and, and when we feed off that energy. Did you see the uh, ice bath coming? Or, or? I kind of anticipated. When, I don't know if it was Bose or somebody kind of got in front of me. I thought, uh-oh, here it comes because I couldn't get out. But uh, I didn't see the purple coming. Coach, we saw you guys run a lot of trick plays. Was that kind of the product of you know having two weeks to prepare for? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had some extra time. And so uh, we, had some, we had a chance to, to put some things in. Um, I think Dave Schramm and our, our offensive staff do a great job of keeping it fun and light for our guys and still give our guys an opportunity to make big plays. And, and we made some big plays off those, those trick plays. Coach, what would you say is the, was the turning point of the season? Uh, after losing Boise State, Boise State? Uh, I, I don't know that that was the turning point in the season. I think, to be honest with you, it might have been when we were down 21 nothing to, to New Mexico on the road. Um, nobody on our squad pointed any fingers. We had a, a look of resolve that we're going to find a way to get things done. and then, to do that on the road and, and, and win convincingly after being down big, I think gave our guys tremendous confidence. And uh, it kind of just gave us a, a feeling that, hey, we can't be beat. And when we do take care of the football and when we don't give up big plays, we, we can be a tough opponent. You guys took care of the football today. Uh, we turned our record 3-1. Uh, and you guys have gone past 30 turnovers. Yeah, that, well, that, that obviously was a big goal of ours. You know, the, 
I knew that you know teams that get 30 or more turnovers or takeaways uh, end up being probably the top 10 or 15 in the country in, in takeaways. And if you look at turnover margin, that that's even more important. You know, getting it's one thing, but offensively we've done a decent job all year of, of taking care of it. And, Top turnover margin team, surprisingly enough, are the top teams in the country. And I knew if we can get that formula right, uh, we can get this thing turned around and our guys our guys bought in. Okay, going back to, to this game, I'm, I'm looking, you guys were up 21 nothing, and then I think there was the, the turnover that led to Air Force's first touchdown. And then you get back within the 10, and you can go on board on fourth, and then you get to bring the Bashirs out to kind of kick it. Can you describe your thought process of maybe not going that instance and maybe kicking and getting the points, maybe extending it to three possessions? Maybe? Well, I think. It wasn't so much that that uh, I thought Air Force did a good job of, of uh, uh, defending us against the run in the first half, and, and I wasn't happy with how we were blocking things. And it was a fourth and maybe three or four, um, and I just felt at that time, you know, Q's been kicking the ball well the second half of the year, and, and felt comfortable with him. Uh, and I thought we we need to get the points. I think that pushed it to 24, and I thought that you know that that would be key to get just get points there. Uh, we went for it before and didn't get it, and so. It was, it was more, I don't know, emotion probably about not getting it and saying, all right, let's just get the points. How much has this team progressed from you know, the time it took it over to where it's at right now? I, I think it's been big. Um, Any time you come in with a transition, uh, there's, there's a learning process. Um, you know, there, there's people in the spring that thought we were on the same offense. I won't say who, uh, that, the off, that the practice looked like that. Uh, but we knew we were making progress. We knew that. Uh, our defense was going to be pretty good, even though it made it, didn't look very good in the spring. Uh, we knew our offense was going to be good. We knew we had playmakers. And, you know, it's part of the process of spring, then through summer, and then fall camp. And our charge each week was, hey, guys, we've got to make improvement each and every week. And most weeks I thought we did that. And uh, uh, the only way you win a championship is if, if you keep making steps. And, you know, we played a pretty good team out there. And, you know, I thought we, we won pretty well. Uh, you don't do that if you're not improving each week. Coach, I'm not sure if you mentioned this already, but can you just explain what the senior class has meant to you? Oh, these, these guys have been huge. The, the only way you have a chance to win a championship like this, especially when you have a, a transition, is, is you have to have buy-in. And to have the 22 seniors uh, buy-in, I mean, they were all in. They were uh, at every workout. They were encouraging our guys. They would not let anybody fall behind. Uh, when you have that kind of buy-in, it's, it's huge, and to see those guys have that kind of work ethic and, and togetherness and then win is just, it, it's really fun. It's just very happy for them, whether they were guys that were, you know, Robbie Rouse, one of the most celebrated players, or, or some of the guys that were scout team players. They all bought in. You, you look at guys like Matt Akers, a guy who started a year ago, and he ended up being a scout teamer most of the year for us. And not, not through any fault of his, but we changed schemes. And yet he went out and he practiced hard every single week. I mean, that guy thought about team more than his own personal stats. And I think that, that really embodied what we were all about and our guys really having a genuine love for each other. How do you get your quarterback back next year, Coach? He, he told me he's coming back. <coughs> so, when, when did he say that? Uh, I don't know, a while ago. You don't seem happy. I mean, what, we want to have a parade for him, or? <laughs> People may. Uh, he's got a year of eligibility left, so we're expecting him to come back. And, you know, at, at, at the end of the year, you know, I, Derek and I, we, we talk, and we'll talk after the bowl game about, you know, you probably need to go through the process and put your name in just to see where you're at. Um, there's things you got to do about maybe taking insurance policies out and those kind of things. But uh, I think he's just scratched the surface right now. I think that uh, as good of a quarterback as he is, he could be the greatest in Fresno State history. And he's got one more year to do that. Uh, we haven't had a Heisman Trophy winner here. We, we haven't gone to a BCS Bowl. Those things are out there for, for a great leader like him. And I think that's a challenge that he's, he's looking forward to. Any last questions for Coach? Coach, we 